Today we'll be diagnosing performance issues using Google Cloud Trace. Cloud Trace helps you find slow requests and shows you where time is spent in your application. Its trace analysis feature allows you to see latency distribution for your application and find those painfully slow requests that may affect only a few of your users. To get started with Cloud Trace, we visit the Projects page in the Developers Console. Select Monitoring, Traces, Settings, and turn Traces on. CloudTrace has very little overhead, so you can safely leave tracing on in production. Once traces are enabled, CloudTrace will start sampling requests received by your application and continue to do so as you deploy new versions of the application. Now we'll select the Trace List tab to view the latest traces for our application. We'll use a search filter, setting the readbook URI. We can also select the HTTP method, status, or application module version and the time range for our search. We will take a look at this top one. You'll notice that clicking on an element will reveal information about the, that request. You can also view the log for the request. To return to the trace details, click on the response time link in the first row. This simple navigation between logs and traces makes it easier to debug performance issues. Now we'll create a trace analysis report comparing two sets of traces. We'll click on New Report. We can specify the request URI, method, status. We can give the name, some criteria, last 24 hours in this case. Create a comparison, which also specifies module version and time range. Once the filter is complete, we click on Submit to request the report. Requests take a little bit of time to happen, so we will click on an already prepared report. In this report, the big blue bulge in the center of the graph clearly shows the latency of the request for today is worse than set B yesterday. You can also see that a small blue bulge in the far right showing deterioration in the long tail latency. You can also see a cumulative distribution. The table below the graph shows the percentile latencies for sets A and B. You can see that set A has a higher latency than B for every displayed percentile. The table also shows sample traces for each percentile. For example, you can click on this sample trace at the 90 percentile to take a look. In this video, we've seen how to set up Google Cloud Trace, view and filter recent traces, and create a report to look at our overall performance. Cloud Trace is a great tool to help you monitor and improve your application latencies. Thank you for viewing this screencast. You'll find additional information at our webpage, cloud.google.com slash tools slash cloud trace. Please ask questions on Stack Overflow tag Google Cloud Trace.